ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸುಗಮ ಟುಡೇ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕೆನ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ವಿವ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕರ್ಮಠ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಮೀಮಾಂಸಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಯಾಯಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ದೇ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದನ್ ಅದರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇ ಫೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಎಟ್ ಬಿ ಬ ಸೊಹಿಯ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಎಟ್ ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಕರ್ಮ ಯು ಹೋಪ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿವೇ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿವೇ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಈವನ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ನೋಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಈವನ್ ಐ ನೋಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ನೋ ದ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆತ್ಮನಸ್ತು ಕಾಮಾಯ ಸರ್ವಂ ಇದಂ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಯು ಯು ಲವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲವ್ ದ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ಲವ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆತ್ಮನಸ್ತು ಕಾಮಾಯ ಸರ್ವಿದ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಾಜ್ಞ ಯಾಜ್ಞವಲ್ಕ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಫಿನಾಮಿನನ್ ಹಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಫಿನಾಮಿ ಅದರ ಕೇವಲ ಪರಾಮರ್ಶ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರುವಂಥ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಒನ್ well known phenomenon that you love yourself and everything else love only through you that means everything any other person any other objects uh, becomes dear to you only only when it pleases you only when it makes you happy only when it makes you love yourself love and happiness are not same are same only love and ha- self love or self hap- or happiness both are same so when you love yourself you are happy when you are happy you are in love with yourself okay when you love another person that means the other person is making you happy ah uh, that means he can be included uh, as he can be included in your in your in your way to love yourself ah uh, if he, if he obstructs your self love if the other person or other object obstructs your self love then you hate it if it is conducive to your self love then you love love the person that means any relationship when you stand in relation with anybody in any relationship the other person covers up your self love obstructs your self love you hate the person or object when the other person is conducive to you or it reflects your self love conducive to your self love or 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 facilitates your self love reflects your self love then the other person also looks as lovable as myself that means my self love is is a little bit extended to him also him or her or to the other person it is a little bit extended to the other person because the other is conducive to me therefore this this phenomenon of human 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 life which is a universal fact that everybody loves oneself and everything else is through oneself okay so 
here the Upanishad is referring to self-love. And next sentence he says, that Atma you understand. Therefore, it is referring to individual Atma only. It is Upanishad is teaching us to learn about the Atma, which Atma, which is an individual. First, he described the individual Atma. First, Upanishad described the Jeevatma. Second, he says, know that Jeevatma. Therefore, Atma is Jeeva only. Siddhanti says, no. What is there more to know? Swamiji, does he say here or he will say later? Probably. Raksha Tata Bhuta Jnanam. Oh, Swamiji point left out. He didn't answer it much. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I, I, I shall add. I add. So, Swamiji left out. Or probably somewhere he may say. Anyway, at the moment, I don't know. We'll, we'll proceed. We proceed. We, it will come. But I on, on my behalf, I give the little answer. Here, yesterday I told briefly. Today, today also I touch the same thing. So, Atma Vare Drashtavyaha, the individual Atma is well known. What is the point in asking you to learn the individual Atma which is already known to you? What is the point in in in, in, in what is the point in asking uh, the indi individual Atma to be known? Atma Vare Drashtavyaha, know the Jeevatma. Why should it tell the no Jeevatma? Jeevatma is known to us. But here, that Atma which you love, and everything else you love only for sake of Atma needs to be known. That means there is a, another dimension to that. This reply has to be added here. There is an another dimension to the Atma. Uh, the Atma which you know is lovable. There is a no, there is a natural love towards the Atma. But that Atma being limited is giving trouble to you. Because the there, as long as there are other things, other people other than you, your self-love gets covered up, gets obstructed by certain other people. Certain other people doesn't obstruct. They, they also want to come under your self-love by being related to your, your Jeevatma, your individual Atma. By Bhoktru, Kartru, Kartru Bhoktru Atma, by being a Bhoktru Atma, uh, by being helpful to your Bhoktru Atma, they want to be part of your self-love by being conducive to your Bhoktru Atma. Okay. By being helpful to your Bhoktru Atma. Okay. By being helpful to your Bhoktru Atma, uh, they want to be helpful to you. They want to retain your self-love. But there are many, many factors, many things and people on the earth who obstruct your self-love, your bhoktrutvam. They obstruct your bhoktrutvam. Self-love means bhoktrutvam. Being happy is bhoktrutvam. Being happy is self-love. So, they obstruct to cover up your bhoktrutvam. Sukha bhoktrutvam. Sukhitvam. Bhoktrutvam means sukhitvam. Okay. Self-love means aham sukhi. I am sukhi. So, this sukhitvam, aham sukhi bhava, those who objects and the people are conducive to that, your, your self-love little bit extends to them also tentatively as long as they contribute to my sukhitvam, aham sukhi bhava. But if they obstruct, if they cover up, if they harm my sukhitvam, I reject them. Okay. But though whom I need to reject, who obstruct my being sukhi, or being self premi, hmm? atma swayam premi, swayam premi means atma premi, atma prema and sukhitvam, both are one aham sukhi, this sukhi anubhava and atma prema, both are same. So, whoever obstructs any objects or any people obstructs, no, you don't like them, you hate them. But those who obstructs are so many on the earth and they come very often in contact with you, they keep obstructing you, then your individual Atma, Sukhi Atma, Kartru Bhoktru Atma, 
will not help you all the time to remain in self-love because there are many objects who come in contact with you, obstruct your self-love, make you unhappy, make you dukhi, not sukhi. Now what to do? Seeing this condition, Atmanastuka Maya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati is okay. The next point is that Atma being a Sukhi Dukhi Atma, being a Bhoktru Atma, being an individual Atma, it is likely to be, it is more often uh, getting an obstruction from outside world because it is not all pervasive Atma. Now, Self-love for, self for Atma, love for Atma is natural. That you don't have to learn, don't have to teach, don't have to pick up. The love for Atma is natural. You don't have to learn. You don't have to cultivate. Only thing is that Atma being limited, your self-love is continuously getting obstructed. Your self-happiness is getting obstructed. Therefore, you understand that Atma to be all pervasive Atma. All inclusive, all pervasive. All pervasive means all inclusive. Sarvavyapi means Sarvatmakaha. Sarvavyapi Atma Andre Yellaranu Tanali Seris Kundirvatma. Sarvavyapi means Sarvatmaka. It is it is all pervasive means it is all inclusive. Sarvatmaka is all inclusive. All pervasive is Sarvavyapi. Therefore, Atma is matter of love. Object of love, that is natural love, instinctive love, uh, choiceless love. When you have a choiceless love for yourself, but your regard, your understanding about the self is limited, that is creating problem to you. The other person is not the problem. The other object is not the problem. They are not denying you, obstructing your self-love. It is not the other person and other object that is obstructing your happiness. You are being happy, you are being in self-love. They are not, for, because self-love is natural, I told you. It is, it is, it is inescapable, it is, it is inevitable or we say choiceless better say. Self-love is natural and choiceless. You cannot stop it by doing anything. You can't take away your mind from loving yourself. Therefore, the only problem is the other object which is obstructing you. Other people, other objects who are obstructing your self-love, coming in the way of self-love, have to be set aside. But you can't do them because as long as you are in the world, as long as you are a jiva, as long so long there is a world, as long as you are a limited being, limited jiva, you are associated with the other. The others, others are bound to come and those others come and interfere. Because, simple reason, there are other, because they exist, others exist, one reason. Second is, you have, others exist because you happen to be limited, limited jiva. Uh, since you are a jiva, limited jiva, the remaining people and objects exist. Now, this is the situation that I am limited, there is a world other than me, which I am bound to interact, the other world, the other objects are bound to come to me again and again and again, I have to be in touch with them, they come in contact with me, helplessly, just as I am an individual is the, is the problem, so also, the people who obstruct the things and objects which obstruct my self-love are also there in the world and I am bound to interact with them. They have come often. There is, you cannot escape your contact and interaction, your relationship with the other. Then what is the solution? Upanishad says the, there is a mistake in your understanding that you are an individual and the world is other than you. This itself is a mistake. The fact is, whom you consider as other people and other objects, who, whom you consider as obstructing your, uh, your self-love are not really separate. They are not obstructing your love. How? Because you are not an individual self. You are the all-pervasive, all-inclusive self. That means, every person, every object is your own Atma. Once you understand that your Atma is all-pervasive, Everybody else is yourself alone. 
your natural love for yourself which you found before to, before uh, for that self love the uh, self love which you found before for your individual atma now that individual atma extends all over the world but the self love continues see the self love continues because that is choiceless which we already told we already discussed and understood why telling it is a universal fact self love is natural instinctive and nobody can stop it it is choiceless by no amount of effort you can stop it the only problem is the self which you love happens to be limited the self which you love happens to be limited then what to do then the the self has to be the atma has to be expanded it has to include everything means it should leave nothing which obstructs which is other than you and which obstructs your self love nothing in the world should remain which obstructs your self love and which is something other than you then what then what shruti says that there is an another dimension to your atma which you don't know that your real nature of the atma is all pervasive and all inclusive it includes everything it leaves out nothing once you understand this thing then your atma is all pervasive it's not an individual atma your self love which is choiceless remains only thing is the atma is understood as all pervasive all inclusive therefore it includes everything leaves nothing outside leaves nothing as foreigner leaves nothing as an outside me other than me when i leave nothing as outside me or other than me then nothing can that, that means everything is atma alone my love for everything becomes spontaneous because love for myself is choiceless then everything becomes me alone everything becomes atma then your choiceless love spreads to the entire universe because entire universe is myself to the self which is understood as all inclusive and all pervasive then there is only love continuously love unbroken love self love self love which is choiceless is not obstructed by anything because there is nothing other than atma that can obstruct okay there is nothing other than atma that could obstruct therefore if you understand the real nature of the atma which is all pervasive and all inclusive which is sarva vyapaka and sarvatmaka sarva roopa then your natural love your swabhavika prema choiceless prema atma prema so atma prema extends to everybody else because everybody also yourself alone therefore the problem was taking the atma to be an individual atma and leaving out certain people and things as an outside atma anything you consider as outside atma that comes to obstruct your self self love anything you consider any person or any thing or any object small or big anything you consider you understand or you take to be as outside atma that becomes an obstruction to your self love because you have to face many things you have to be in touch with many things which is not yourself that means when you are absorbed when your attention is in non other than self the other than self takes away your attention your love from yourself you miss yourself and you suffer okay <laughs> okay so ad as long as you leave something as something separate you consider as something outside you other than you extraneous to you people or objects anything you can in fact we live out a larger portion of the world larger see what we consider as other than me other than the atma is a larger one what i consider as atma is a very small one ah uh, atma is very small anatma is too big too vast that means i am likely 
to be always in touch with anatma more often and rarely i come to atma more often i remain in touch with anatma anatma means what obstructs me what covers up my atma what obstructs my self love what covers up my self love is more that means i am likely to suffer more i am likely to be miss myself more i am likely to miss myself miss my self love uh, cover up my love more often that's why samsara suffering dukhi that's why i become more dukhi so the any anatma doesn't allow me to be sukhi because it obstructs my self love or it obstructs my self love it may look a contradiction for you because it looks contradiction because you told self love is choiceless again you say somebody obstructs your self love see is it not contradiction you may ask first you told self love is choiceless now you say other things obstruct you obstruct self love if self love is choiceless how can others obstruct <laughs> others don't take away your choiceless love only thing is whom you love that atma which you love is becoming limited the problem is atma which you love is becoming limited so love love is choiceless that's not a problem love is choiceless but the atma which you love is so limited because if it is limited it is coming in contact with non loveable things see love is choiceless but what you love is limited and other things where you have no love are coming and interfering so they are not interfering love the love is choiceless thing is what i don't love what i love is limited what i don't love is more so what i don't love comes and interferes and then what i love gets covered up see love is choiceless so they obstruct in the say in this sense anything other than me obstruct in this sense <laughs> so the solution upanishad says yagnyavalkya teaches in brahadaranyaka upanishad uh, that maitreyi uh, it is the problem is not your self love in fact the self love itself leads you to that real solution the self love uh, atma prema is natural is choiceless but the atma being limited what you don't love is often coming and coming and coming into your attention what you don't love is coming to your attention that means what you love remains limited what you don't love comes again and again and again to your attention then you suffer therefore the solution is understand that your atma your real nature of atma is such that it leaves out nothing it covers everything it includes everything all the all the things all the people anything that exist on the earth in this earth or even other world whatever exist all that is included in the atma then your choiceless love for atma remains all pervasive at your love for atma is choiceless but atma is not all pervasive then your love becomes limited that means your choiceless love becomes limited to one area and the same choiceless love doesn't spread uh that means you you come in contact with many things where you have no choiceless love 
that means your love is denied now the solution is understand the atma to be all pervasive all inclusive sarvavyapi and sarvatmaka then nothing remains outside your choiceless love becomes all pervasive love okay the choiceless love becomes all pervasive love or all inclusive love choiceless love is no okay but all pervasive all inclusive love is important for that the see where the choice is where the love is choiceless where is that it is in atma understand that atma extend that atma stretch that atma to everything understand that atma is all pervasive then choiceless love becomes all pervasive love that means there is nothing which is unlovable when you find nothing which is beyond love nothing which i don't love nothing exists which i don't love then i am always in love then i am always happy you understand when i am always in love then am i always happy therefore anything you hate anything you consider opposite to you against to you uh, obstructing you more you suffer brahadaranyaka says uh, brahma tam paradad yo anyatra atmano veda kshatram tam paradad yo anyatra atmano veda sarvam tam paradad everything that defeats you everything that obstructs you yo anyatra atmano veda if you consider that as other than the atman anyatra atmanah atmanah anyatra veda whatever you consider as other than the atma that means you consider atma as something alone a limited alone doesn't include doesn't cover others you come to suffer anything you consider as other than the atma that means you consider as unlovable where your choice love doesn't choiceless love doesn't apply to it so the choiceless love which is naturally there in you if you find more objects which are unlovable more you come to suffer then what to do include them in the atma your choiceless love automatically falls on everybody else everything on the earth so nothing remains therefore don't consider anybody as an enemy understand the atma is all pervasive all inclusive and everything is a atma alone then in that case your self love is all pervasive love you are always in love you are all the time all the conditions always in love therefore you find there is a continuous love that means you are continuously happy there is nothing takes away your love your love or self love or your happiness there is nothing because nothing that takes away your happiness because everything is yourself and self and my love for myself is already there therefore me and the remaining me atma and the remaining anatma this division is the is the problem and this division is a problem fortunately is not the reality this division is only a misunderstanding is a bhranti or adhyasa it is a brahma this division that atma is limited and remaining other things are other than me other than the atma is a brahma it is a bhranti it is a misunderstanding therefore correct your misunderstanding how by proper by by right outlook shruti shastra gives you the right outlook <coughs> shastram or the or the or the vedanta gives you the right outlook in the right outlook the misunderstanding is corrected and you find that everything is already you therefore atma avare drashtavya that atman has to be seen has to be intuited therefore yagnyavalkya in brahadaranya upanishad was teaching to his wife maitreyi <coughs> ಆತ್ಮನಸ್ತು ಕಾಮಾಯ ಸರ್ವಿಧಂ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಆತ್ಮಾವಾರೆ ದ್ರಷ್ಟವ್ಯ ಇದು ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ತೋಳ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆತ್ಮಾವಾರೆ ದ್ರಷ್ಟವ್ಯ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ 
that atman it is not an another atman your own atman as all pervasive all inclusive you know yourself but as a limited exclusive atma limited and exclusive atma now you have to understand a reality about the same atman which you have misunderstood as a limited and exclusive it excludes many things atma is a small one limited and limited to this body mind and sense organs uh, to this deha indriya manaha to this deha indriya manaha atma is limited therefore it excludes many things but that is that, that is only your wrong understanding about atma it is your misunderstanding about atma atma in its real nature doesn't exclude then your self love is all pervasive it in reality it doesn't exclude but you think that it is exclude it excludes then you are under a misunderstanding there is a there is a serious misunderstanding you have about yourself okay therefore sa, sa atma drashtavya uh, that atman has to be seen intuited to be understood now he says i know myself how can you say i know myself there is adhyasa so that individual self which is a karta bhokta continuously acting because it is looking for happiness why it is missing it is it is missing 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 more often missing once in a while finding a little more often it is missing therefore it is continuously struggling hard that continuous struggle is kartrutva looking for happiness because i miss it since i miss it i look for happiness since i look for it i continuously struggle the channelized struggle is called karma if it is channelized with the worldly knowledge with the laukika gnanam if your prayatna is channelized with laukika gnanam it is called laukika karma if you channelize the struggle for happiness with the help of your worldly knowledge it is called laukika prayatna laukika karma if the same prayatna if the same effort the same struggle is a channelized in a different level in a different way as advised by the shastra it is called shastriya karma shastrokta karma okay it is a laukika prayatna laukika karma or shastrokta karma so whether laukika karma or shastrokta karma both the karmas are a systematized efforts organized efforts system vyavasthikruta prayatnam becomes karma it is a vyavasthikruta prayatnam vyavasthikruta prayatnah andre <coughs> it is a, a systematized organized effort is called karma if it is organized with the help of laukik knowledge worldly knowledge it is called worldly karma empirical action if it is done with the help of the shastra knowledge it is called a shastriya karma <coughs> because both of them organize your struggle both the prayatna both the karmas whether worldly knowledge or shastra knowledge they they organize your effort both of them organize your effort for what to achieve your happiness so they organize means the karma there is a continuous struggle the struggle is given a systematic form this struggle implies that i have missed something and i am looking for something i have been missing uh, i have been missing something i have lost something so i am looking for looking for it so when you are look, looking for something and you can't keep quiet and the struggle goes on and the same struggle is organized by it but all this prayatna all this karma is under the misunderstanding that you what is that i look for i look for happiness because i look for happiness and i work for it i work for it i struggle for it then this prayatna is based upon the prayatna is motivated by looking for happiness that looking for happiness is motivated by missing my happiness missing my self love 
you get it now you got it missing for self missing my self love is the foundation that leads to looking for outside and the looking for outside leads to my struggle and the struggle gets organized by laukik gnanam uh, worldly knowledge and the shastriya gnanam scriptural knowledge <clears throat> okay so that i miss myself because i treat myself as a limited so i i find for a short while more often i miss i find myself a short while i miss i i find a little i miss a lot i miss myself a lot and i find myself a little that means i become happy sometimes more often i become unhappy i become sukhi a little bit but dukhi adhika dukhi is adhika sukhi is alpa i become sukhi a little bit but more often i become dukhi <coughs> so this shows that uh, i made myself small unavailable though love is choiceless though i want i love that i though i want that continuous love selfless love i my understanding about myself is such that i can't find my selfless love all the time so this is the basic adhyasa this is the basic message but the real nature of atma is it is all inclusive there is nothing other than you there is nothing other than you means what if love is natural to yourself other means what what does the other mean that means unlovable anatma means unlovable atma means self love atma means love anatma means unlovable that there are more unlovable things lovable is limited unlovable is more continuously you keep missing this is what shastra says there is a misunderstanding the reality is there is nothing unlovable anatma doesn't exist unlovable doesn't exist anatma doesn't exist anatma is your misunderstanding you created created means falsely falsely you took that there is an atma you took that there is something unlovable unlovable is synonymous to an atma lovable is synonym to synonymous to atma okay lovable is atma unlovable is an atma so unlovable is large lovable is small therefore my struggle see the samsara ah the prayatna nirantara prayatna samsara swabhavika prayatna so this this nirantara prayatna this continuous struggle made me tired frustrated this highly disappointed therefore the shastra says that there is a biggest misunderstanding in your struggle in your struggle in your miss in your in your frustration in your disappointment in your sufferings in your sorrows there is one basic mistake that your unlovable is more lovable is limited okay unlovable is more and lovable is limited correct this misunderstanding there is nothing unlovable extend your love to everything everything is lovable there is no anatma everything is atma alone everything is lovable alone there is nothing unlovable once you understand this thing atma is all inclusive all pervasive means what everything is lovable everything is a matter of happiness everything is lovable everybody is lovable that means your choiceless love finds continuously everything it includes everything then you are always happy you are free from all sufferings and there is no anatma because at- anatma what you called what you misunderstood to be anatma is in fact is in reality atma nothing but atma 
what you misunderstood before to be an atma is in fact your atma alone more you reject the anatma more you lose your love more you miss your love therefore don't reject anybody don't hate anybody don't set aside anybody anything on the earth more you set aside more you reject more you miss yourself only thing is so here to contradiction one first i consider it as not me it is anatma it is unlovable it is other than me i consider other than me i keep rejecting me i consider it as other than me consider it as anatma consider consider it as unlovable and reject me unlovable and reject unlovable and reject more i reject more it becomes unlovable more unlovable more i reject more i reject more i become limited more i miss myself more i miss my real self larger self infinite self ananta atma akhanda atma sarvavyapaka atma more and more i miss see the contradiction more i consider an atma more i reject that more i reject love more my love shrinks more my 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 individuality my atma shrinks my love also shrinks more i more it shrinks more i miss more i miss more i suffer see the samsara then what is to be done what you consider as what you have rejected what you consider as anatma what you considered so far as unlovable discover it is lovable it is not rejectable it is not unlovable and what is lovable is not limited to body alone what is lovable is not limited to body alone to the sense organs to the mind alone it is not limited to any given thing your atma your antaratma pratyagatma is everything it is not limited to deha indriya and manaha it is not limited to body mind and sense organ it extends beyond them it includes everything on the earth everything then there is nothing anatma there is nothing unlovable okay there is nothing unlovable then your choiceless love is continuous love all pervasive love this you need to learn if you don't know this thing then you are under misunderstanding therefore atma vare drashtavya there is adhyasa this atma needs to be all inclusive all pervasive atma needs to be learned okay this is what uh, bhashakara shankaracharya says uh, there is an atma which is unknown okay na vedanta vedyam asanaya adyatitam apet brahma kshatradi bhedam asamsari atma tattvam adhikare apekshate there is there there is an another dimension to your atma which is ashanaya adyatitaha which you need to understand ashanaya ashanaya is hunger kshuda ashanaya is kshuda ashanaya adi adi padena adi means kshuda pipasa hunger and thirst hunger and thirst etc ashanaya adyatitaha atma which is beyond kshuda and pipasa which is beyond hunger and thirst ashanaya pipasa jara mrutyu shoka so which is free from jara mrutyu jara mrutyu pertains to body uh, kshuda pipasa pertain to prana pranamaya kosha then jara mrutyu pertain to sthula shariram that is uh, physical body gross body and kshuda and pipasa pertain to prana then shoka moha pertain to mind manaha shoka and moha shoka moha pertain to the mind so all these ityeva madaya ashanadaya atitaha that means atma is beyond these things this atma you need to know since you don't know it this is an adhyasa this is a misunderstanding is underlying all your efforts all your struggle all your sufferings okay and this needs to be corrected therefore adhyasa is there even in your shastriya karma so your effort 
which is organized in two ways. One is a laukika karma, another is a shastriya karma. Your struggle for finding your missing all pervasive atma, uh, to find your missing ananda, you have been struggling. But your struggle is organized in two ways. One is in laukika karma, another is in shastriya karma. He says, even in shastriya karma, the same misunderstanding underlies. The same misunderstanding of yourself, that you are a limited being and you are not all-pervasive, this uh, misunderstanding is underlying, forming the basis even for your Shastriya struggle or Laukika struggle. Whether Shastriya karma or Laukika karma, the same and misunderstanding of Atma is forming the basis. Okay, therefore, even Shastriya karma also within Adhyasa. Therefore, when you say, I know myself and do my Shastriya karma, hope to, hope to go to heaven, hope to go to Swarga, Swargadi Sukham or Punar Janma. Hope to find my happiness in the next Janma, Uttara Janma or even other Loka, other world. In all these hopes, in all these attempts, in all these efforts, you don't know the real Atma which is all pervasive. What is that nature of Atma? Vedanta Vedyam. That can be known only through the Vedanta Upadesha. Uh, Ashanaya Jatitaha. Atma which is Ashanaya Jatitaha. Apeta Brahm. So this point, I think time is up. We, we, we shall discuss in the next class. So the nature of the Atma which needs to be learnt. Uh, okay. The discussion is very nice, very beautiful. Uh, Shankaracharya and also discusses very beautifully, thoroughly, according to Anubhava, Anubhavanusari Vichara. So, this even Swamiji's explanation is also very nice. It will go slowly, it takes a little time. Uh, these points, unless I elaborate, can't be understood. If I touch briefly, people miss it. So, for sake of, at least for sake of certain, certain Jignasu, uh, I have to elaborate. Certain sharp people in one sentence, you will get, you get it. But there are other people for sake of them I am elaborating. Okay, have some patience. Those who understand in one sentence, please have patience <laughs> so that I can cover other, uh, I can help others also. Okay, Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om.